Hello, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another episode of the Performance Kitchen. Now, today as you can see, I've got loads of ingredients ready to go and I'm pleased to say that I'm joined by somebody who's won not one but two silver medals at the World Championships and one silver medal at the European Championships. Please welcome Jonathan Broom Edwards. Great How to see you, Jonathan. Nice How's to see you going? too. I'm a fine, thank you, thank you. Good, good. So for anyone who doesn't know, you're a Paralympian, but you also compete Not in... a Paralympian yet. Not a Paralympian yet? No, I haven't yet. been to a Paralympics yet, okay. so I'm a para-athlete. Para-athlete, well. yeah. but you also compete in able-bodied uh, do. athletics as well. That's where I get most of my competition okay. um, throughout the year, because there's not many para um, events throughout the year. Okay. So I have to kind of make it up with competing against the able-bodied. But I'm okay. in a group of able-bodied high jumpers anyway, so right. I have plenty of competition. And you compete in the T44 category? I do, right? yes. Yeah, so I was born with telopes on my left foot. Okay, okay. it's a telopes equinovirus. It's a condition which affects my uh, foot at birth. Um, if you imagine a golf club, my foot was shaped like a golf club. Right, okay. I have a lot so of waste. So a club foot? Club foot, yeah, yes. Um, club. Yeah, so initially it was club foot. You, have, you go through a surgery to kind of remove the clubbed element of it right. but then you have a lot of muscle wastage restrictive movement and fusion of the bones right so, okay yeah. so and you only realized after London that you were yeah. eligible yes to compete as a para athlete yeah I never knew it would uh, my foot would classify me for para sport okay. um, it wasn't until a sports masseur saw my leg uh, in it was in 2012 actually um, and said, what's wrong with your foot if you don't mind me asking um, <laughs> to which I, I told him um, and he said you might classify for the Paralympics, do you know that? And you, I, I laughed incredible. at that point. <laughs> yeah. But um, lo and behold, here I am. And you've so. come a long way since. So we'll get into all of that. Look at all these ingredients we have right here. Yes. Please tell us what you're cooking for us. Today. So I'm cooking a meal which uh, can be done as a vegetarian option or if you want to add the meat okay. as a meat lover. Um, it's a spiced carrot and frica feta cheese salad. Okay, Very interesting. but I'm also going to be making a, um, some protein pancakes as well, okay. which are great for, for the mornings. Um, yeah, brilliant. So where should we start? So we'll start with the carrots. Okay. Um, so we've got 400 grams of carrots. We've got some pre-prepared uh, okay. in batons. Um, so if you want to do the honours yeah. and cut up, the, cook up the last one. I will one. cook up. I will chop up, up. Chop up. Cut up, chop up. And we have a baking tray pre-prepared with some foil. Okay. Saves on the washing up ready Very for important. these. And so these carrots are going straight on the baking straight, tray. Straight on the baking nothing tray, added nothing added to them yet, apart from a little bit of salt, which will put a bit of salt on there. Okay. okay, so spread them out nice and thinly. Okay. So we're gonna add a bit of salt there. Okay. Just over the- Little bit of salt. Little bit of salt. And then- And what are we setting the oven to here? This is uh, at 200 <laughs> degrees um, for a uh, fan assisted or 220 for non fan assisted. Okay. So they're going to go straight in. If you, you've got a timer at all, yep. set a timer, set the timer for here. 20 minutes. 20 minutes in the oven. 20 minutes for that. Lovely. And meanwhile, we're going to chop up an onion. I can do that. If for you, you want to do that no for me. Red onion or. Red onions. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, make a doesn't make a difference, just an no. added taste of the red onion. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll start chopping up. Some garlic. Let's I prefer to grate garlic actually. Okay, that's interesting. Because it's easier. <laughs> Some of our previous guests were just good old fashioned crushing. Crush them, them. yeah. You prefer to grate it. What, is there much of a difference? Is it just easier just to grate? Easier. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> cool, that works for me. So, um, Jonathan, you haven't always been into uh, high jumping, have you? You didn't start out, you started out in basketball. That's Lucky correct, University. yeah. So, I've always been into uh, trying to jump as high as I can. Okay. I always wanted to dunk, dunk the ball in basketball. Um, and it was just in, I think it was 2010, uh, at university, I decided to try it out with a friend um, over a summer and found out I was pretty good at it, you know, or not bad at it at the time. Yeah. Um, Did you try it out to improve your jumps in basketball? Yes, to, to, try, and, yeah. to try and help, you that know, was to try like and... the main reason why yeah. I wanted to do it. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and then, yes, uh, so over a summer, did uh, quite well with it and decided to carry it on in uh, for Loughborough University for a year. Okay. Joined the club, the athletics club there, and managed to get a silver medal at Bucks. So I'm sick of wow. silvers right now. <laughs> um, the gold will be coming yeah, this summer. Gold, yes. About that. Well, it's <laughs> when I first came into high jump, I was uh, I was a little bit bigger because I, okay. I wasn't. I was in the gym trying to get bigger for the post and basketball. So 
I started off being called Fat Boy Fat. Um, and then, and over, you had a few nicknames, didn't you? I've had a few Do nicknames. Do you want to roll through them? Yeah, so uh, one's Limp Foot Christie. Um, <laughs> That's probably my favourite. Bad Foot Limp Gay. Um, and then Fat Boy Fat, which <laughs> finally got to Fat Boy Slim. I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay. It's okay. So it's a compliment now? It is a compliment now, yes. Okay, so what we want, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to add to the pan one um, tablespoon of oil, of okay. your preference, olive oil or... Um, I need a spoon, don't I? You do? I will get one for you. A tablespoon? A tablespoon of, of oil. Performance kitchen coconut oil. Coconut oil. It's not really, it's just... Just to the pan. Alright. So okay. We'll, Alright, so we'll let a that sizzle. Tablespoon start of that. Let that sizzle. So what are we throwing in now? To get We're going to throw, throw in the onions, throw in the onions for about three to five minutes. Okay. Um, to which we'll then start to add the, um, uh, some of the rest of the things. The uh, ingredients, but first, actually, we're going to get the freaker in. So we've okay. got a pan here with 500 milliliters of water, which is about a pint size, right? Pint, yeah, yeah, a half pint. Half if you pint. haven't got a measuring cylinder, but, or half a pint, sorry, yep. half a pint of water. So you want to get the you want to get the freaker um, drained and. Okay. I know nothing or, about freaker, so I'm going to have to let you. That's fine. Completely take over here. We're going to put about half of the amount in here. How much so have it's we 70, got here? 70, well, we've got here about 150 grams just 150 in the bowl, grams. but it's 75 grams for two people. So if you double it up for uh, obviously four people. Okay. And then we're going to add the onions to the pan. Okay, I can do that for you. Fantastic. Here we go. Some finely chopped onions, if I say so myself. Perfect. There they go. Nice little sound there. So they're going in for about um, three to five minutes okay. until they start to caramelise. Um, we'll add in a bit of salt and pepper. A bit of salt do and pepper. Do you want to do the, the honours with We've that? We've got some Himalayan, Himalayan salt. rock salt today. Very fancy. Okay. Okay, so we're letting them. That's cooking away. Crackle. The freakers on the go. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is once that's gone through a little bit more. We'll, stop, we'll add in the garlic, okay. we'll add in the cinnamon, and we will add in the uh, cumin seeds. Okay. okay. And there's about 35 grams of, no, sorry, one teaspoon of cumin one seeds teaspoon and one teaspoon cumin seeds. of cinnamon as well. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So, how often would you have a meal like this? Is it a typical dinner for you? Well, because you it, it, takes, it takes about half an hour to make. Okay. Um, so, if I've got time in the evening, I'll try and cook up a nice okay. meal. Um, it's got a lot of uh, good nutritional value to this meal. You know, you add, you, start, you add the chicken, you get even more protein, but on its own, without the chicken, you've got 28 grams of protein right. um, for, the, for the two meals, the two people. Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're going to lower the heat okay. on this. To? Just a low heat. A very low heat, I'll yep. put it on one. And that's going to now okay. simmer for 20 minutes as well. So while we're waiting for that to sizzle and the freaker to boil, we're going to prepare the mix for the protein pancakes. Protein pancakes, right? yes. And this is perfect for breakfast, but you can use it as a post-session meal as well. Yeah, so it's really great because um, depending on the protein um, powder you use, yeah. um, it can be flavoured, it can be unflavoured. So if you want it sweet, obviously go for a sweetened protein pancake, uh, protein mix, sorry. Um, if you want it savoury, yeah. um, you, you know, you just mix it up a bit. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with um, some egg whites. I've got two egg whites mixed in already or done already. Okay. So if we do one more egg white, one more okay, egg white first. and then we crack one more egg into the into the pot. So I'll do. Okay. The, do you want me to crack the egg into here? Yes, please. Right, okay. And I'll Just start. I'll I start doing the. Yolk the in or? You can put the yolk into that one. Okay. Right. Here we go. Might mess this up. God, as if I'm a pro. Look at that. All right. So there that's done. Yeah, that. That's not too bad, actually, is it? And then we mix in. No shell in there. So we've got three egg whites and an egg. Okay. Really? You've got 35 grams of oats, flavoured or unflavoured. Okay. And we're using bulk powders uh, yep. today. Yeah. So obviously, powder. if I was using protein, I'd have to have stuff batch tested. Okay. Uh, but for you guys at home, if you, <laughs> whatever you're using. But bulk powders is that? Would that be match tested? Is that um, a good brand to use? I'd have to check myself. Okay. Um, so it depends on the particular type of protein powder. Is it yes. Yeah. Okay. Some some uh, brands have both batch tested and non batch tested. Okay. And you want a scoop for which is about twenty five grams. All right. This we're going grams. we're going for chocolate for today. Okay. So you mix that up in there. Nice. 
You want a dash of milk, if you can grab us some milk, dash please. Milk. I'll get that for you. And also the cottage cheese. Here we go, and the cottage cheese. And you want 100 grams of cottage cheese. Okay. So it's about a third of the, this Shall pot I put here. in the milk, just a dash? A dash of milk, please. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Is that enough? Yeah, it's fine. Lovely. I'm going to use this same spoon. Okay. Can you use all different types of milk in there? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, no particular. You can use almond or coconut rice milk. All right, so what we'll do, now you can actually do this in a protein shaker uh, for ease. We've, we've obviously got a blender, but just get a, a, a protein shaker with a grate grating and shake it up. Okay. So it's nice and easy. Everything's in there. Um, so that's, that's all done. Yeah, you do, okay. it's, it's quite a lot of... Um, so it's a big meal in quite, itself. Yeah, it can be. Right. But obviously you can do them as a, as a dessert if you just want a couple, because once you've made them, they, they can store in the fridge yeah. Yeah. for a while. Okay, so that will come back to later. Okay. All right, now the carrots should be coming towards the time for... We have, they've been in for 17 minutes. So, so we, can, we can actually take them out yeah, now we'll and start adding the... We're going to add honey and pumpkin seeds. So would you like to do the honours with the honey? Yes, here we go. So how much am I... So it's, um, it's 28 grams of honey. Okay. All right, and for, it's just basically a drizzle. Um, okay. So go across okay. um, all the carrots. Yep. Across the whole, maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah, a little yeah, bit more, I'll go over go. again. Adds a nice sweet taste to it. Lovely. And then you want to scatter the pumpkin seeds as okay. well. The pumpkin okay. seeds over it. Lovely. They can go back in the oven and they're only going to go back in for around five to 10 minutes. Okay. Um, until they're nicely cooked, until the pumpkin seeds are a little Lovely. bit darkened. I'll do the old shall I? Yes, please Here do. Here we go. In they go. It's about 10 minutes, did you say? Yeah. Right. Now once the freaker is done, which is around the same time as the carrots come out. You just want to let that steam dry on the side, ready for later as well. Okay, you can, you can sieve it if it's a little bit waterlogged, okay. but ours is just right, so. Okay, Jonathan, what's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna cut up some parsley. The okay. carrots are almost done. The pan of the rest of the stuff is pretty much ready to go. Okay, so I'm just grabbing like a good handful of parsley here. Yeah. And Rip it off here. Maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe a little, a little bit, less. bit less than that, yeah. Not so much a big handful then. Perfect. Okay. Well, I got a bit of dirt. So yeah, get rid of the dirt, but you want to keep the stalks. Chop that up as finely as you're able to. So it's this all is where you'll get. As well, yeah. so, <laughs> it's where you get your skills involved. Yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. I'll start chopping these up. Leave, Leave the stalks on. Just Leave stalks. Yeah. Ch chop up the stalks as well. It's all going to go in. Obviously, you can you can buy the pre-ground parsley that you can always put in. The lazy way to do it. Okay. So the carrots are pretty much ready to go as well. So you're you're building up to the Olympics now. Yep. How much does your diet change building up to something like the Olympics? Is it? Um, yeah, it changes quite a lot because you want to get yourself down to um, the ideal weight. Okay. But you can't maintain yourself at that weight for too long. Right. Because you just burn out. So. You get down to whatever it is, probably about four weeks before, okay. um, or maybe even less, but then maintain that. So you're not kind of on a calorie deficit, you're just maintaining it on the build up to the competition. So what are you eating for them four weeks? Um, it's of, just... Two meals a day, three meals a day? Well, it's, just, it's a similar, what, similar to what I eat normally, but it's just um, a bit more restricted, less, less sugars, less junk, less... Yeah just less quantity really, but okay. still, you're still keeping your metabolism burning over okay. um, and just being, being good with it basically. Right, okay. yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna Here put these, go. uh, put the carrots back into the pan. Carrots are going into you can the put pan the, now. You can put the, uh, the pan up to a medium heat again. Okay. So we had it on a low heat, yep. back up to a medium heat, the carrots. I'm gonna add in the carrots. In. Get them all in there. Get them all, Get them in. all in there. Okay. And then you're also going to chuck in the, the beans of your choice. Now, okay. I quite okay. like butter beans. These are black spotted beans. Okay, and how much do we have here? But it's just a tin, a tin, a tin of beans. Go, go straight in beans. there for now. Straight in there. So they go in. You mess around with it. Yeah. And also at this point, you could, uh, you could start to put, on the, um, put in the chicken. Okay. And also, you want to put in the so parsley as well. Parsley, chicken, go straight in there. Straight in. Yeah. Okay. 
the pre-cooked chicken that we made before. And then Straight salt in. and pepper. Lovely. Just you know, season well. It's looking lovely. As you're, as you're mixing it in. Perfect. Give it a good mix. Good mix, folks. Looks lovely, doesn't it? And you also add in the frica. Here we go. The much anticipated frica. Frica. And like you mentioned earlier, if you do want to make this with a as a vegetarian option, just don't have the chicken. Out, don't have the chicken. Simple as that. And you can use different um, different rice. I've used yep. I've used uh, couscous before. Okay. Um, as a substitute. For the as chicken, a substitute you, for the frica. Yeah, oh, for the uh, frica. frica. Yeah. Okay. And you can also use quinoa. Um, it's quite a nice, course, quite yeah. nice alternative. And you want to cook that for another probably two or three minutes just okay. to let the chicken heat up again. So let's get on to the protein pancakes. To yeah, okay. So the pan's nice and hot, ready to okay. go. Right. So literally, what you, you could use a, use okay. a ladle. Yeah, that's probably better, isn't it? Yeah, we'll take, take that if you take the ladle from me. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oops. And then we've got that ready, so. I'll give it a go. I might mess up here. Perfect. Pour it in. There we go. And then you wait, let it cook away. So okay. this one's going to be quite a thin pancake. If you've got more oats um, and probably a bit more cottage cheese, it will thicken out and they okay. can be quite thick and chunky. As long as the heat is hot enough, okay. you just want to leave it until there's a little bit of smoke developing and then you can flip it. Okay. Right. Lovely. So we're, this is all done now? Yeah, this is all done. The, the salad is all done. Let me get a plate for you. Uh, where are the plates? Now I've got feta cheese. The yeah. feta cheese is, uh, comes in a 200 gram pack. You want half of that okay. for, for two people, obviously for more, for more people. Half you, for two? Yeah, and you want to crumple that up. Okay, all right. lovely. I'll just get the plates for us. Here okay. we go. And what you're going to do is you're just going to serve up um, as it is. Okay. I'll let you serve up. It's your uh, masterpiece. All right. Now this this is starting to smoke now, okay. so we can get under that. All right. After I'll, I'll let you go. Oh yes. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, so that's ready. Oh, perfect. Look and you that. can look at that. I mean. Look at perfect. that, guys. I'm right. an expert protein pancake maker right now. So with the uh, salad, okay. obviously you want to serve it up. Look at this. This might be, from the look of it, my favourite meal so far. You're just saying that. Kitchen. Yeah, maybe I'm just saying that. But it does look incredible and smells amazing as well. Okay, so there you go. Um, with, the, with the feta cheese, just sprinkle that on. Lovely. Uh, voila. There we go. Look at this. Amazing. So that's all ready to so go. So that's we'll ready to go. Maybe do pancake. one more pancake. Yeah, we can do. Yeah. So that one can be like served. That's perfect. That's Look exactly at this. it. this. Right, let's get a plate going here with this. Oh, yes. And what would you sprinkle on top of this? So mix, I like to have a bit of bacon, okay? Oh, okay. And a bit, a bit of something like Nutella. Oh, man. Some, Nutella. Uh, some peanut butter, strawberries cut up, bananas cut up, well, you name it, whatever it takes your fancy. Like I said, if you, uh, if you have it as a savoury, just don't have the flavoured uh, protein mix. Okay. But as a sweet dish, it's, uh, it's really nice and it's, you know, it's fairly healthy as well. Yeah. Okay, so we are almost ready. We're, We're almost putting ready. a strawberry on top of the pancake. Yep. And this looks amazing. Look at this presentation. Amazing. There you go. And we're done. Amazing. Shall we give it, give it a go? Right, give it okay, a try. let's get a couple of forks. One for you. Thank you very much. Try. Let's see if it's actually as it should be. Mm. Oh my god. That's pretty good. If I do say so myself. I'm not just saying this. Incredible. Shall we tuck into Yeah, let's tuck into one yeah. of those as well. All right, let's have a little bit. Obviously, it'll probably taste a bit better with uh, some yogurt and a bit of fruit as well. Yeah, so you can, I mean, you can just add whatever you'd like onto it. Maybe a little bit of honey, some fruit. Oh, amazing. Jonathan, thank you so much for being here. Really it's been lovely to be it. here, thank it's you. It's been great and well done with the dishes, amazing. And thank you guys at home for watching the Performance Kitchen. 
Make sure you join us next time where we'll have more delicious meals cooked and prepared by a pro athlete. Make sure you tune in. See you next time.